Y'all ever just start counting and realize you're really good at singing? 100, yeah, yeah. We love a toothless king who's good at math. Hey, I like this guy's mathematicals. Nurse costumes are canceled now, apparently. Chris Pratt's in hot water for making jokes about the election. There is a Hollywood spoopy story I'm gonna tell you just in time for Halloween. And I did finally watch The Social Dilemma, so we'll discuss that. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Politics, The Crib Diaries. I knew the ridiculousness of cancel culture knew no bounds, but I didn't expect it to come for nurses. Remember Blackpink? They're a super popular K-pop girl band. They did that collab with Selena Gomez about ice cream that I told you about. Hey Google, play ice cream by Selena Gomez and Blackpink. Well, Blackpink just released a new music video for their song Love Sick Girls, and the mob is coming for Jenny from the band. Why? Because she wore a nurse outfit. A prince not even on my list. Love is a drug that I quit. Critics are saying that the song contributes to the stereotypes of nurses and sexualizes them. Hello, nurse. <gasps> Now Blackpink is saying that they're gonna remove any part of the music video that has a nurse costume in it and they're apologizing to nurses that they may have offended. You are all ruining my fantasy of being your sexy nurse. Uh, how about we apologize to Jenny? She didn't do anything wrong. All she did was wear a little nurse costume when she's singing about being lovesick. There is literally nothing sexual about this. Protect Jenny! Leave her alone. Jenny isn't the only one on the naughty list with the left either. Chris Pratt also gets the honor this week. I'm sorry. I took it too far. I meant trash panda. Is that better? I don't know. You know how right now every celebrity is posting that we need to vote every five seconds? Hey guys, vote for me for class president and I'll put beer in the water fountains and cameras in the girls' locker rooms. What? Well, Chris posted a picture of his movie Onward and wrote this hilarious caption about why people need to vote for it to win a People's Choice Award. Morning! Morning! He said, with all that's going on in the world, it is more important than ever that you vote. Just ask any celebrity. They will tell you every day, several times a day, to vote. But me, I will tell you exactly who to vote for. Onward. The upcoming 2020 People's Choice Awards is the most consequential vote in the history of mankind times a million infinity. Vote for Onward for Family Movie of the Year or else you will die. No hyperbole. Click the link in my bio. Let your voice be heard. Why is it whenever I'm having fun, it's wrong? Look, I take voting in this election very seriously and even I thought that was funny. What you need to do is take a nap and most likely never wake up because you're just dumb. We gotta do a sniff break. Ow. I feel like maybe I've told this story on politics before. If I haven't, I know I've definitely told producer Abigail behind the scenes. Either way, there is a really weird update to it that's perfect for Halloween, October, the month of spooks. These are the eyes of a psychopath. Did you ever watch The Land Before Time growing up? <laughs> Remember the character Ducky? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I do, I do. Ducky was played by this little girl named Judith Barcy, and when she was 10, her dad killed her and her mom and then himself in a murder-suicide after severely abusing her. Now a family who lives in the house where Judith was killed 32 years ago says that her dad has been haunting them. Seriously, people that go into that house supposedly never come out. On an episode of Quibi's Murder House Flip, the Bernal family says that after they moved in, they could feel a bad energy. The garage door would open and close, they weren't sleeping, and they could feel hot and cold spots in the house. And they said that they constantly felt like they were being watched. If we can find out what it is, we can stop this curse. <laughs> 
concept of this show is just a little bizarre to me. I'm sorry, but a new ottoman and a fresh coat of paint on the walls is not gonna get rid of any ghosts. If that was the case, wouldn't The Exorcist have been a lot simpler? <sighs> okay, so what I've been watching. I did watch The Social Dilemma on Netflix also. That was something that a lot of you guys recommended. And it was kind of scary. I'm feeling kind of spooked right now. They had all these Silicon Valley professionals, people that used to work for places like Facebook and Instagram and Google and stuff, spilling secrets about how all these social media companies manipulate us and exploit like racial tensions and all these things and the media does it too and we're all being controlled and it's like, okay, didn't we already know all this? I knew that. Now. I really liked it. It was very spooky, but I liked it. I believed pretty much everything that they said. There wasn't really anything that I disagreed with. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm curious to know below if you liked it or thought it was crazy. Either way, definitely a watch. I highly recommend it. What I want people to know is that everything they're doing online is being watched, is being tracked. Every single action you take is carefully monitored and recorded. Another thing that I watched was Showbiz Kids on HBO. Don't I don't really recommend that. It wasn't that good. I thought it was boring. I've watched what else? What else? What else? Oh, I watched The Kissing Booth and The Kissing Booth 2. Well, half of Kissing Booth 2, I got bored. But I decided that I don't like Joey King. God, what is wrong with me? Is my butt too big? I'm sorry, I am not a fan. Something about her rubs me the wrong way. Not into it. Nope. Couldn't do it. And by the time I got halfway done with Kissing Booth 2, I was like, I'm done, I'm done. I can't look at this girl any longer. I'm not a fan. Am I some sort of freak or something? No. So that's where I am on the TV front and I will keep you posted on what else I'm doing. Right now, I can't really taste or smell anything. So that's made snacking kind of miserable. I'm trying my best to eat. I burned cinnamon rolls this morning and yeah, it's, we're, we're hanging in there. I believe in you. Okay, I need to go blow my nose for the 1400th time and I will see you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. Make sure you heart this episode. Tell me below, nurse costumes, offensive, not offensive. I know we have a lot of healthcare professional conservatives that watch, so I'm curious to know what you think and share this to your stories. I've worked very hard on it, getting up in my sickness, um, putting on makeup, doing my hair just for you because I love you. We do the most here. We're doing the most. We're very extra. Okay, all right, goodbye now. It's pop culture without, I already said that. Oh, what do I say? Oh yeah, my name, my name. I'm Alex Clark and this is Poplogics. Click below to watch yesterday's episode. Please subscribe, thumbs up, share this video, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss the conservatee. And make sure you're following this show at Poplitics on Instagram for even more conservative content.